In this video, we're going to be talking about how to customize your chosen WordPress theme. With WordPress, you begin building your site by selecting a theme, but that theme can then be customized further until ultimately you create the site that you want. Themes are great starting points for building your website. They are pre-made layouts that quite often come with stock content. A theme can then be customized further by you to make it more unique. Themes come with things like images, backgrounds, and color schemes, as well as their own layouts of content. WordPress has thousands of themes available. Currently, we're using the default WordPress 2017 theme. When logged into the WordPress dashboard, we can customize our theme by heading to the Appearance section of the sidebar and then choosing Customize. You'll see a live preview of the theme on the right side of the screen. This allows you to make changes to the appearance of your site and preview them before the changes go live. Here you can see the active theme, or you can also change the active theme of your site. You can see what themes are installed on your site. We'll talk about how to add more themes later. The customizer will be different depending on the used theme, but most themes will include these basic customization options. Inside Site Identity, you can choose a logo, which will appear next to the site title. You can also change the title and tagline here of your website. You can also use a site icon, which will be used as the shortcut icon in your browser. Ensure that your icon fits the dimensions needed. You can also change the color scheme that is used throughout the website, as well as customize the color for the header text if you so choose. This theme also allows you to use a header video, such as an uploaded video or a link to a YouTube URL. You can also customize the header image with whatever you want. You can also crop the image to the needed dimensions. There's also an option to upload multiple header images and have the site swap between them each time a user visits. From the menu section of the customizer, you can customize the navigational menu, which your visitors will use to navigate your website. This menu appears across the top of your site and will have pages that are most commonly visited. You can customize what pages are in this menu, as well as reorder them and add individual pages. Within the menu, you can also add custom links for access for your visitors. Other options include location and automatically add new pages to the menu. The widgets section allows you to customize the widgets on your theme. Widgets are sections of content on your site that appear in specific areas of your page. On this theme, you'll see the label sidebar. This label controls the sidebar widget. To edit the content of a widget, use the widget section in the customizer. I can choose what widgets are displayed where and also make a few settings changes for individual widgets. You can also reorder the order of the widgets or add any new ones. We'll cover widgets more in depth in another video. By default, this theme will display the posts in chronological order on the front page of the site, acting as a home page but you can also create a static home page for your website as well. You can set a static home page to be the front page of the website and also where to put your post page. You can see now we have placeholder sections now on the home page. Finally, you can customize CSS styles of your website. CSS allows you to customize the appearance and layout of your site using code. You can learn more about CSS from the help icon at the top of the CSS section in the customizer. Make sure you hit save and publish after making changes to your site, as this will save the changes that you've made. At the bottom of the customizer, you can switch between previews on different devices such as tablet, mobile, or desktop. Once you're satisfied with all of your customizations, hit save and publish to save your changes. Now we can head back to the dashboard. The theme subpanel in the dashboard is where you can manage your installed themes. Here you can see all of the installed themes that are available for use on your site. Clicking on a theme, you can find out more information, as well as access a few customization options such as widgets, menus, and header. The live preview button on the currently not used themes allows you to see what the theme would look like on your website. To add a new theme, click the plus button from the themes page. You'll have access to many free themes from the WordPress theme directory, and once you find a theme you like, you can easily install it. 
There are also thousands of premium themes available as well. If you've purchased one, you can use the upload button to upload a zip archive of the theme you've purchased. WordPress will automatically upload the theme files to the correct location. Like we did earlier, you can make customizations to the premium themes as well. As you can see, using themes, it's very easy to build the website of your dreams using WordPress. Using the customizer, as well as a selection of free and premium themes, you can create a professional looking website and personalize it to make it your own. With .easy and WordPress, it's never been easier to use a theme to make a website that is unique to you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to this channel for more helpful videos. Thank you.